Munster A booked their place in the BNI Cup semi-finals with a 26-3 win over Ulster A at Irish Independent Park. In an encounter where the Northern outfit enjoyed much, if not most, of the possession, they failed to make it count, unlike Munster A who displayed a clinical edge, especially in the opening half. A David Johnson penalty got Munster up and running on three minutes, but that advantage was soon negated when the hosts conceded two consecutive penalties deep in their own half. Brett Hearn missed the first, but made no mistake on the second attempt. Excellent running and deft hands down the left flank soon saw the Ulster men back in the Munster 22. But, put to the pin of their collar early on, the men in red held firm, a sign of things to come from the Munster defence. Peter Malone's charges then nudged ahead on 22 minutes, when Johnson bisected the posts with a superb long-range penalty. And that was the spark that ignited Munster, their set-piece solidifying and their attack finding a cutting edge. Corkman Darren O'Shea was the first to cross the whitewash. After excellent work through the phases, the second row hit the gap and ran in behind the posts to hand Johnston an easy conversion. Lovely hands from left to right, then found centre Sam Arnold popping up in the right corner, and there was no stopping the former Ulster man as he crashed over. Johnston kicked a sublime touchline conversion. Munster A leading 23-3 at half-time. Similar to the opening 20, Ulster A dominated the territorial stakes upon the resumption, but to no avail. In both set-piece and open play, Munster consistently did enough to force a penalty or knock-on during the Ulster men's repeated trips to the Munster 22. Despite their minimal possession, Munster A registered the only score of the second half. The impressive Johnston making it 6 from 6 off the tee and starting a penalty on 76 minutes to seal Munster A's place in the BNI Cup semi-finals. Munster A will now have home advantage over Ealing Trailfinders in the semis, that game to be played on the weekend of April 1st and 2nd. A finalised date, kick-off time and venue will be confirmed in due course.